Jackson here at Springfield on January the 22nd. Springfield won that game 44-41. Due primarily to some late game heroics by Lexi Evanizio. She made two three-pointers in the last minute and that was the margin for victory for the Cougars. So we'll see how it goes tonight. The Cougars have relied heavily on Alexa Avenizio this year and Rachel Conran, two seniors. Uh, Springfield has five seniors on the squad, two juniors and six sophomores. And as Don was saying, the sophomores may well be the key to this game tonight. Not only uh, Annabelle Kreit, who plays in the middle, but also the two, actually three sophomore guards that just have played shutdown defense over the last four or five games. I mean, think about it. You got these five or six sophomores that have, gone, have played both as freshmen and sophomores. Two of them have started the entire year getting tons of varsity experience. And when you watch them play, they do not look like sophomores. The heady plays that they're making on defense, the offensive drives and dishes that they're doing, definitely playing above their sophomore years um, and they're, it's just only going to continue to grow but Haverford brings in some young talent too that they're going to be competing with tonight so it, it, I'm excited I, I got to call that game in January it was a back and forth game the entire time Haverford actually jumped out to the lead and made a couple crucial mistakes where Springfield made some great steals with about a minute to go. And then Alexa Abinazio coming off the bench. We we're doing offense, defense, switch there. She came out and drained two threes with under 20 seconds to go. It was just tremendous. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, Haverford has three seniors on his squad, six juniors, three <laughs> sophomores, and one freshman. And as Don said, they are led by number 15, Caroline Dotsey, a sophomore. She is our leading scorer. She comes from a long line of outstanding basketball players. So this will be a great matchup. It always is when Springfield and Haverford meet. So let's see how this game unfolds. It's a shame in a way, Stan. I mean, this is one of these great matchups that would be great with the gym packed. All the students here yelling and screaming, unfortunately due to COVID. We got the parents here, they all clap and cheer, be nice about everything. But without the loud kids in here, it's just a totally different atmosphere. It is. Um, Haverford comes in ranked number 13 in the 6A bracket in the District 1. Springfield comes in number 1 in the 6A bracket. The other semifinal going on tonight in the Central League playoffs is at Ridley High School, where Ridley is hosting Harrison High School, and that should be a really exciting game also. So now we're going to have the introduction of the starting lineups for the Fords. Starting at forward, number 33, sophomore Molly Carpenter. Starting at guard, number 30, Emma Rowland, a junior. Caroline Dotsey, number 15, a forward and a sophomore. Starting at guard, senior, Chiara McGillery. And the final starter is a senior, number three, Addison Brodnick. So you can see those first three starters, a lot of height there. Dotsie's 6'1", the other girl looks like she's six foot, and definitely 5'9", on the other one. And the starting lineup for our hometown, Springfield Cougars. Number 42, sophomore Annabelle Kreit. Starting at guard, sophomore, number 30, 34, Lexi Arrow. Also starting at guard, number 34, at sophomore Lexi, Lexi, Lexi Aaron. Number 13, Cox. Starting at point guard, number 13, a senior guard, Michaela Cox. Senior, number 15, Rachel. Starting at forward, number 15, senior Rachel Conran. And the final starter for the Cougars is number five, senior Alexa Abenizio, the all time leading scorer in female or women's basketball here at Springfield High School. <laughs> and we are now going to have the playing of our national anthem.
Haverford is coached by Lauren Pelicane and assistant by Aaron Knox, Jacqueline Gantz, and Mara O'Connell. Springfield's head coach is Kai McNichol, assistant Fran Burbage, and also assisted by Ann McKnight. So two quality squads. I think back to the years when your daughter and my daughter played. Bobby Morgan, coach at Haverford. She yeah. was an outstanding coach. A Springfield's coach, outstanding. Just a, a great tradition of good high school girls basketball. Yeah, from girls, this has always been a rival. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Between these teams, Haverford, Springfield, always banging against each other. And I think you're going to see a great one tonight. We just got to get off to a good start is what we want. Get our confidence going. <laughs> So three officials were ready to, for action here at center court with the jump. Tip goes to Haverford. Emma Rowland controls the tip. Springfield playing a man-to-man -man defense. Springfield will look inside. Her shot is no good. Basket put in on the rebound by number 33. That's Molly Carpenter. Yeah, much like the last game, she does a great job getting weak side as she gets that weak side rebound. Rachel Conran is really going to have to play physical tonight with her. Lexi Abenizio goes up with a shot, no good. Rebound pulled down by Michaela Cox. Rachel Conran with the ball. Drives to the basket. Finds Annabelle Creed underneath. Annabelle's shot is up and good. Springfield showing full court pressure here. It's a man-to-man -man full court pressure. So we'll see here whether we can come up with some turnovers. Haverford breaks the pressure. Lexi Aaron providing the pressure against Shara Mc McElvray. That two-pointer put up by Caroline Dotsey. Nice shooting motion, nice follow through. Kayla Cox with the ball. So confident for a sophomore, really confidence is unbelievable. Annabelle Crete with the ball. She lost the handle there. She had an opportunity for a layup, but lost the handle. Loses it on the dribble. It goes to Rachel Conran. Rachel goes to the basket. She's tied up by number 33, Molly Carpenter. It's a jump ball. Possession arrow belongs to the Cougars. So Cougars will un inbound under their own basket. Mm. Lexi Aaron inbounding. Lexi Aaron's shot is up and no good. Haverford pulls down the rebound, Molly Carpenter. Molly's already exerted herself. Yes, another sophomore for them. Just plays with unbelievable confidence. Both of them underneath are a tough matchup for anybody. For Springfield, Mia Valerio is up off the bench to come into the game. That shot was tipped. It's no good. Fight for the rebound. Goes out of bounds off of Molly Carpenter. Yeah, Springfield's going to need to team rebound tonight. Everybody's got to get involved. These girls are going to keep crashing. Carpenter and Dotsy are just going to ram on those boards. Uh, Abinazio, they're all going to have to rebound tonight. They're letting them play. A lot of contact there, but they're letting them play so far. Annabelle Crete fakes the shot, goes oh, up for the foul. layup, it's no good. Rebound pulled down by Molly Carpenter. They gotta call that, that's a, that's a body foul. Crite, it looks great to see Crite get to the basket there. Yeah, they are letting them play. They're letting a lot of body contact go. Well, they called that one. Foul's called on number three, Addison Broadneck, a senior. Haver leads 4-2, four, four minutes and 40 seconds remaining in the first quarter. 
Low scoring contest, lots of defense. Rachel Conron with the ball to Mary Valerio. Haverford playing a very tight man-to-man -man defense. Rachel goes to the basket. The shot is up and good. Scores tied four to four, halfway through the first quarter, four minutes remaining. Springfield playing a man-to-man -man defense. Ball goes inside the Dotsy, outside the number 13. It's no good, rebound pulled down by Alexa Abenizio. She's driving to the basket. Shot put up, beautiful pass by Abenizio, and the shot put up by well, Lexi Aaron. Aaron. Yeah, it's been great. The Cougars have been fast breaking here the last couple games. They're really pushing out on the break. Lexi Aaron getting all alone on that left side and finishing strong. Nice pass by Abenazio. Boss, loss. Mm. Ball was lost on the Harvard end by Carolyn Dotsy and then lost at the Springfield end by Annabelle Creek. Coming in for Haverford is number five, Sky Newman, a sophomore guard for the Fords. Springfield again is on full court pressure. Trapping defense. Oh, she, her foot was, oh, she said she hit it. The ref said they, they tipped it. Yeah. Good action there. The officials decided to make no call. That's the perfect time to do that trap there, right? Use the half court line as a third defender. So they really got the girl trapped. The sophomore came in off the bench, wasn't really ready. Almost a turnover. Yep. Springfield leads six to four. Two minutes, 40 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Annabelle Crete with the ball. Back to Mia Valerio. Mia finds Lexi Aaron. Lexi's going to the basket. Dishes off to Annabelle Crete. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that shot was missed by Mia Valerio. Cougars come down with the rebound. Mia Valerio makes a nice move. And scores. Springfield takes an 8-4 lead. Just over two minutes remaining here in the first quarter. <laughs> Cougars got back nicely on defense there and shut down the fast breaks. Haverford pulls it back out to slow it down. Set up their set offense. Nice move by number five, Sky Newman. That's her first basket of the game. That cuts the Cougars lead to two, eight to six. Minute and a half remaining in the first quarter. Rachel Conman with the ball. Takes the shot at the foul line. It's up and good. Cougars lead back to four, 10 to six. A minute left in the first quarter. Oh. Sky Newman with the shot. It's up, no good. Rachel Conran battling on that rebound with Molly Carpenter. Molly wins the battle. Her shot, her putback is no good but she is fouled on the play. That's the first foul on Rachel Conran. That's the first foul on the Cougars. Haverford has also only been called for one foul here in the first quarter. Yeah, Rachel's gonna have to realize that, that Carpenter's gonna get to that weak side every single time. Her first shot, Molly Carpenter's first shot is up and no good. Coming in for the Cougars is number 35, Taylor Hunyet, and Michaela Cox. Taking a seat is Annabelle Crete, 
and Lexi Aaron. Molly Carpenter, second shot, up, and also no good. Rebound pulled down. Nice hustle by Mia Valerio. Cougars with a four-point lead, 39 seconds remaining here in the first quarter. Michaela Cox. And good good timeout by Coach Manicola. She always knows when to call a timeout, just to settle something or set something up. She sees something that Harvard's doing on her defense. She'll get them up into a set play here, I'm sure. And coming in for the Fords at uh, that timeout is number four, Ania Eberhardt. She's a freshman. She was just put into the action at the timeout. So, ladies and gentlemen, the score is Springfield 10. Haverford six, uh, 31.4 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Great first quarter, back and back, back and forth action. So here's another opportunity. You got this freshman in there, looks like a guard. If she's back there at the, at the back court, and they should trap her right away, see if they can't come up with a quick turnover. Springfield has the ball. Inbounding will be Mia Valerio to Michaela Cox. Springfield will probably hold the ball for the last shot. Rachel Conrad pops out. Ania Eberhardt is on Rachel Conrad. Long pass across the court to Rachel Conrad. 12 seconds. Lexi Abenizio with the ball. Six seconds remaining. She's gonna drive to the basket. She puts up the shot. It's good! <laughs> Beautiful play by the Cougars with that last possession. Just textbook coach in there. She calls the timeout, says we're going for the last shot to end the quarter. They go through their offense a couple times, then they finally get Abenizio on the top of the key one-on-one -on -one with the other leading scorer, Rachel Conrad. Nice pick and roll, and Abenizio with a nice spin move and a pull-up jumper about 10 feet. Great, great momentum builder. So, Cougars lead with a six-point lead, 12 to six. Just getting ready to start action here in the second quarter. This has all the makings of a great game in the first quarter, certainly lived up to it. What, a, what an interesting contest. And interesting for us, no threes. So I, I think Harvard's doing a good job, and our, our players are getting to the basket, getting in tighter, and getting a 10-footer or an 8-footer instead of a three-point shot. We have taken one, I think, but we don't have any, but we got lots of scoring by four different players, five different players, which is great. Number 33 for Haverford, Molly Carpenter, has been very impressive so far. Carolyn Dotsy has also been impressive, so this is going to be a great game. We'll see how it all unfolds. Yeah, I think last time we actually got Carpenter in foul trouble in the first half. I think she had to sit out and had two fouls in the first half, as well, I recall. Well, the coach has taken her out of action here, going with a smaller lineup against the Cougars. Addison Brodnick with the ball, finds Ania Eberhardt, finds Sky Newman. Sky Newman with the ball, driving to the basket. That's a great double. Great double there. Mm. Nice rebound, nice hustle by number three there. Addison Brodnick, Addison goes up with the shot. It's good, excellent hustle there by Addison Brodnick. That rebound looked like it belonged to the Cougars, but she took it away and kept the possession alive for the Fords. Yeah, there are those loose balls we gotta have. Michaela Cox with the ball. Finds Mia Valerio. Michaela Cox again with the ball. Taylor Hundnett with a nice rebound on the, Rachel Conran fakes the shot. Great move to the basket by Rachel Conran. Up to come into the game for the Cougars is Lexi Aaron and Annabelle Crete at the next whistle. Cougars lead by six, 14 to eight, six and a half minutes remaining in the second quarter. Double. Mm. 
Rachel Conran playing great straight up defense. And there's that team defense. Kayla Cox came off her player who was in the corner to double down on Dotsie, causing her to walk. And that's the defense we've been getting from the entire team. They look to double whenever they can, especially on the better players like they just did there, and they create the turnover. Kayla Cox with the ball. Six minutes remaining in the second quarter. Actually, Aaron's shot was blocked by uh, Carolyn Dotsie. And that went out of bounds off of the Cougar. Oh. Okay. Nice job. Nice pressure there by the Cougars. Result in a 10 second turnover. Haverford not get across the timeline within the required 10 seconds. So Springfield causes the turnover. Now takes possession. Michaela Cox with the ball. Finds Mia Valerio. Finds Rachel Conran. To Michaela Cox. Annabelle Crete with the ball. Now it's controlled by Mia Valerio. Four. Annabelle Crete going to the basket. Shot is up and good. What a beautiful left handed layup. Cougars I, with eight point lead, 16 to eight. I know I've been talking to Coach Manickel. She's been talking about Annabelle Crichton trying to get her more aggressive on offense. And tonight, she's got four points already, which generally she may have four in a game. The whole game. That's yeah, it's exactly great to right. see her in the first quarter pulling down four points for sure. Uh, stop in the action here. Timeout called by Haverford. Springfield does seem to be driving the ball almost at will against this man. Haverford is not doubling up. So that has created some openings for the Cougars when they do drive the ball. Yeah, I mean, I guess you can't blame to have her coach. Like, if she probably believes she goes to a zone and the three-pointers start to line up. So instead, she says, try to beat me on the drive, and the Cougars have been doing a great job of it right now. Well, that's one of the strong things about the Cougars and, and how well coached they are. They have a lot of weapons they can use. So we'll see where Haverford goes with Springfield again, showing full court pressure, trying to get the turnover like they did on the last possession. Emma Rowland with the ball. Ball tipped away by 41, Mia Valerio. Loose ball picked up by the Fords. Shot is no good. Springfield continuing in a very tight man-to-man -man defense. That shot is blocked. Lexi Ebenezio with the ball, coming down. Finds Rachel Conran. Over to Mia Valerio. Mia is going to the basket. Oh, foul. No foul called. Mm. Shot is no good. That pass is intercepted by Rachel Conran. Outlet pass to okay. Lexi Ebenezio. And the foul's called on number five, Sky Newman. I mean, it's incredible. As physical as this game has been, there's only three fouls called so far. Yep. We're already a quarter and a half in almost. Coming into the game is Molly Carpenter. Back in for the uh, Fords. Lexa Abenizio will go to the line to complete an old-fashioned three-point play, and it's good. That extends the Cougar lead to 11. 19 to 8. So we're halfway through the second quarter here. Oh, that's good. Oh. Nice move to the basket by Addison Brodnick. No help there from the Cougar defense. They're going to have to tighten up on that. That was a little bit too easy. Yeah, Lexi's got to fight over that screen there and play a little bit more aggressive on that defensive end. That gets the Cougar lead to nine, 19 to 10. Three and a half minutes remaining here 
in the second quarter. Annabelle Crete with the ball. Finds Mia Valerio. Harford continues in the man to man. Rachel Conran oh. with the long three, and it's good. Oh. Nothing but net from Rachel Conran. That was an NBA three for sure. That was way out there. Under three minutes now. Harford breaks the press. Uh -huh. Carolyn Dotsey wanted to go to the basket, but shuffled her feet as she started her yeah. move, and that's a that's a travel. She saw we broke they broke the press. They wanted to push up on a fast break. She just didn't take her time and set herself and ended up walking there. That's a sophomore mistake. And she will learn from that. There's no question she'll learn from it. Annabelle Crete, nice move. <laughs> Beautiful layup. Beautiful pass. Good start for the Cougars. Great start. Love to see Annabelle Crete get into the basket and being strong. That makes a huge difference for the Cougars. Cougars lead. 24 to 10 with two and a half minutes remaining here in the second quarter. Yeah, and our normal scorers, Abenizio has five, Conran has nine, but there's Crete with six. That's it. That's more than a game for her in the last recent four or five games. We get two or four points from her and does a great job defensively, rebounds for us, but tonight she's on the offensive mind, so it's wonderful. And I'm really pleased to see the Cougars taking it inside. They all too often this year relied on the outside shooting and obviously it's been successful but you got to have both to beat the really good teams and this this game today and then the game Thursday and then they're into the district playoffs and they're going to see some really fine competition in that district playoff and such a shame too because because of COVID we get to play at home that the higher seed keeps playing and that includes the district playoffs we'll be at home here for most of the district if we keep winning it's just a shame we can't have the gym filled up with all the loyal Cougar fans. Haverford with the ball, number 30 inbounds. It's Emma Rowland. Haverford bringing the ball up. Rowland being defended by Lexi Ebenezio. Springfield continues in a man. Springfield defense is switching nicely. Number 13 puts the shot up, it's no good. Rebound put up by Molly Carpenter and it's good. She That's knows right where to get, Stan. She gets under that basket and gets ready. Two minutes remaining here in this second quarter. Cougars lead by 12, 24 to 12. Lexi Aaron with the ball. Finds Annabelle Crete. Lexi Aaron with the ball. Finds Annabelle again. To Mia Valerio. Lexi Aaron. Mia Valerio. Minute and a half remaining. Rachel Conran with the ball. Rachel going to the basket, finds Annabelle Crete. Annabelle, well defended, kicks it back out. Rachel Conran with the ball, one minute remaining. Finds Annabelle Crete, Annabelle goes to the basket. And she's fouled. Foul in a play by number 30, that's Emma Rowland. I'm sorry, foul on a play by Carolyn Dotsey, number 15. Annabelle Crete will go to the line to shoot two. First shot is up and no good. Coming into the game for the Cougars is number 13, Michaela Cox. Annabelle with her second shot. Second shot is up and good. We got a substitute coming in for Haverford. That's Sky Newman returning into the game. Sky is a sophomore at Haverford High School. She replaces number 30, Emma Rowland. Cougars full court pressure. 56 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. 
Michaela Cox applying the defensive pressure. Ball's up for grabs. Saved by Mia Valeria. What a hustle by Mia. Rachel Conran with the ball. Dribbles it off the foot. Springfield turns it over. Haverford with the ball. Rachel one, Conran one on the steal. Pull back. She's going to offensive sub here. This is Coach Manickel at her best. You know what I mean? She takes the time out. It's fine. We've got plenty of them. And gets Abenizio back into the game here. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're near the end of the first half of action. Springfield leads by 13, 25 to 12, 21 seconds remaining. The foul situation is not serious for either team. Haverford has committed three fouls. Springfield, remarkably, in a very tightly contested game, has only been called for one foul. Each team with three timeouts. So on the floor for the Cougars, Lexi Abenizio, number five, number 41, Mia Valerio, number 15, Rachel Conran, number 34, Lexi Aaron, and number 13, Michaela Cox. Lexi Abenizio will inbound to Michaela Cox. 20 seconds remaining. Cougars will hold for the last possession. Lexi Aaron finds Lexi Abenizio, finds Michaela Cox. Seven seconds. Michaela Cox. So that, ooh, that last possession goes for naught, but Springfield still goes into the halftime with a comfortable 13 point lead, 25 to 12, to hold a scoring machine like Haverford to 12 points in the first half is a tribute to the Cougar defense. And Don, you were talking about the Cougar defense before the game started, and that was an excellent demonstration of outstanding team defense. It really was. I mean, you know, they're, they're playing as a unit. Uh, it's not just one-on-one, -on -one, even though the big girls are doing a great job on Dotsie and Carpenter underneath, not letting them get free passes into the lane. They're doing a good job switching down there. Everybody sees if there's a back pick set on the big players, the two players are switching or making it harder for Harvard to get the ball in. But you're right, Stan. They allowed four points the other night, 12 points and a half here. That's a good way to win basketball games in the Central League playoffs. So this game was expected to be a very good contest. When these two teams met back in January, it was a very good contest. Springfield won a couple shots at the very end to, uh, to come away with a victory. So we'll see what unfolds here in the second half. Don, you have some story, scoring statistics for the first half. Yeah, I mean, the Cougars, from their normal players, Alex Abinazio with five, Rachel Conran with nine, leading the Cougars in a half. Lexi Aaron had a two. Mia Valerio chipped in with two. But there's the big name tonight. Annabelle Kreit with seven points in the first half, really making a big difference on the offensive side for the Cougars. Forget about what she's doing on Dotsie and Carpenter down low. She's pitched in tonight offensively, which makes a big boost for the Cougars. And then for Haverford, uh, their senior, uh, their point guard, Madison Bonnack, has four. Newman came off the bench with two. Dotsie has two. And Carpenter has four, excuse me. Yeah, so they've done a good job on their big guns, only allowing two and four points, which is great. So, ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for tuning in. Uh, we will take a quick break here, and we will come back with a few minutes uh, before action starts in the second half. So thank you very much for tuning in, and we're going to take a bit of a timeout here.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Springfield High School, our, our new gym in the new high school for the second half action of the Central League playoffs, the semifinals between the Fords of Haverford High School and our hometown Lady Cougars. At half, the score is Springfield 25 and Haverford 12. A really excellent half of basketball for the Lady Cougars. Uh, defensively, to hold a team like Haverford at 12 points and a half is truly a remarkable achievement. Offensively, they did very well. Nice balanced scoring. And they shot inside very well and shot a couple outside shots as well. Ten footers, one long three from Rachel Conran. So we're about ready to get started. We have about two minutes. Uh, my name is Stan Johnson. Very happy to be with you tonight. And with me is our color commentator, it, Don Mooney. Don, what are your thoughts on that first uh, half? We, we talk about this all year. I mean, just the first half, the first half, it's got to be behind you now. And I'm sure Coach McNichols, McNichols emphasizing, let's get out and put the pressure on them and really hit the gas pedal and see if we can't pull this thing into a 20-point lead here and then put them away early, you know, in, as we get by the end of the third quarter, big double-digit lead. And I'm sure Harvard's going to adjust. They're going to say, why is our leading scorer, why is Dotsie not scoring, and how can we get her the ball underneath? So we just got an update from the game down on Morton Avenue. Ridley is down one to Harrington at halftime. We don't have the total score, but we got that it's a, a one-point game at half. As you mentioned, this is the semifinal. Springfield versus Haverford. The other semifinal is being played at Ridley High School tonight, and Ridley is playing Harriton. Ridley is down by one. Uh, that was expected to be a real barn burner, just as this one. So it's great to see the Central League with four really good teams playing. Uh, Springfield is seeded number one right now in the District 1 5A. The seeding meeting for the district tournament is tomorrow. So we'll know better after tomorrow how the district tournament will be. But the Central League tournament is the immediate concern. Semifinal tonight and the winners of the two games, Springfield, Haverford and Ridley and Harriton will play on Thursday night at the team with the higher seed. Obviously, we're all hoping and pulling for Springfield to be that team. Springfield did come into the tournament as the highest seed since they ran the table in the Central League this year with a 13-0 record. Yeah, quite an accomplishment for the three seniors, Kayla Cox, Lexi Abinazio, and Rachel Conran. They won a ton of basketball games in their four-year career at Springfield. And obviously, Alexi Abinazio also threw in a bunch of points, becoming Springfield's all-time leading scorer. So we're about ready to get underway here in the third quarter. Again, Springfield leads 25 to 12. On the floor for the Cougars is number 42, Annabelle Crete. Number five, Lexi Abenizia. Number 15, Rachel Conran. Number 34, Lexi Aaron. Number 13, Michaela Cox. So those are the five starters for the Cougars. Michaela Cox takes the inbound play and we are underway. Rachel Conran with the ball. Lexi Abenizio finds Lexi Aaron. Michaela Cox. Lexi Aaron goes to the basket. <clears throat> Lexi Aaron's shot goes off the rim, no good. She's fouled on the approach by number four, Ania Eberhardt. On the floor for the Fords is Eberhardt. Number 15, Carolyn Dotsi. Number three, Edison Brodnick. Lexi Aaron's first shot is good. Lexi Aaron has been playing with so much more confidence. Like the last three or four games, it just like a switch clicked on, and she's so confident out there. That foul shot is no good. Rolls off the rim and tipped out of bounds by Annabelle Crete. So Haverford will inbound. Cougars continuing to show full court pressure. She's touched the ball. Yeah. Red player, a number 13, touched the ball while she was on the out of bounds line. That's Shara Mickelvray. So Cougars will inbound the ball. 
Lexi Aaron with the ball finds Lexi Ebenezio. Lexi Aaron finds Rachel Connery. Lexi Ebenezio with the ball. Cougars moving the ball around the perimeter. Trying to pull the Fords out so they have an opportunity for a drive. That was their pattern in the first half. Rachel Conran with the ball. Annabelle Creed back to Rachel. Rachel drives to the basket, backs it back out. Finds Michaela Cox. Michaela goes to the basket. Mm. Offensive foul called on Michaela Cox. That's her first, team's first here in the second half. Haverford inbounding the ball. Cougars again showing full court pressure. Haverford breaks the press. Number 13 drives to the basket. It's Cara Mc McElvray. Fouls called on number five, Alexa Avenizio. That's her first, team second. So McElvray will go to the line to shoot two. Her first one is up and good. Wonder if Harvard's gonna try to drive to the basket more based on that possession. And her second shot is up and good. The interesting thing is they've not played full court yet. I'm curious to see at what point they turn that on or they try to create some turnovers on the press. Kayla Cox with the ball, finds Rachel Conway. Rachel backs into the basket, hands it off to Annabelle Creed. Lexi Aaron with the three-pointer. It's up, no good. She gets her own rebound. Rachel Conran. Got Rachel Conran down on the floor. Looks like it's her knee. Her, her right knee or her right ankle. There was contact after the shot. There was no foul called. She's obviously in pain there on the floor. The trainer is there with her, as is Coach McNichol. Rachel is a tough kid. She must be hurting if she's not able to get up. Looks like she's afraid to put weight on it. Yeah, it's her right knee. Her right knee. Well, she's up, but she's not real steady on it. She's walking over to the bench. She's going to go into the locker room to have the trainer take a look at it. So the situation, ladies and gentlemen, six minutes, 10 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Springfield leads 26 to 14. Haverford with the ball. Mia Valerio, I think, was the sub that came on for Rachel Conran. Caroline Dotsie with the ball. Ball tipped away. By Lexi Ebenezer, a great play. In order to stop the break, number 13, Chiara McElvray fouled Lexi Ebenezio. That stinks in the NBA, that's foul shots. Clear path to the basket, but unfortunately it's just a foul here and you get the ball. So Michaela Cox mm -hmm. with the ball. Mia Valerio with the ball. Annabelle Creek, Michaela Cox. As soon as they see how the Cougar offense functions here without Rachel Conrad, she is a mainstay in that offense. She rebounds well and she shoots well, so let's see what the Cougars can do. Annabelle Crete with the ball. Lexi Avenizio, double team, triple team, goes to the basket, mm. ball rims out. Great move by Lexi, it just would not fall. Ball recovered. Great hustle by sophomore Lexi Aaron. She finds Mia Valerio, and Mia sinks the layup. Great The two play. sophomores both created that. Mia made the steal at the half court, and then Lexi goes after it. Double 
dribble. Ah. Nice steal there by Haverford, tipped away by Springfield. You can see Haverford's coming out with a lot more energy here. I'm, and I'm kind of surprised she, does, she took the big girl out. Now she's coming back in, Carpenter. Foul called on Annabelle Crete. That's Annabelle's first foul, third one on the Cougars. The foul shot put up by McElvray is good. We don't want to foul her. She's three for three right now in a quarter. Coming into the game for the Cougars is Molly Carpenter. McElvray's will be for her second shot. It's no good. Rebound. Rebound pulled down by Michaela Cox. There's a jump ball on that rebound, even though the Harford girl came over her back. J possession arrow favors the Fords. Nice inbound pass to number 15, Caroline Dotsey. That cuts the Cougars lead to 11, 28 to 17. Kayla Cox pulling the ball out. Loose ball and a scramble. The pass was intended for Mia Valerio. She lost the handle. Ball was tied up in a jump ball. Cougars will, with the possession arrow, will inbound it under their own basket. Lexi Abenizio. Kayla Cox with the ball out up top. Nice harassing defense by Anya Eberhard, the freshman. Number 41 for the Cougars, Mia Valerio goes in amongst the trees for a layup. Shot is no good, but she's fouled by Molly Carpenter. That's her first. Yeah, the nobody really in foul trouble. No one has two fouls at all. Mia's first shot is up and no good. <laughs> Second shot is no good. Rachel Conran has come out of the locker room. She's on the bench. I'm not sure if she's going to be able to go back in or not. Nice shot put up by... McElvray, but it's no good. Lexi Abenizio comes down for the rebound. That's what we want Alexa doing. She's got to realize she's going to be the one scoring here. So get to the basket, get to the line. As she went to the basket on the layup, there was a blocking foul called on Ania Eberhardt. So Lexi will go to the line to shoot two. First shot is up and good. Substitute coming in for the Cougars, number 35, Taylor Hunyet comes in to replace Michaela Cox. So on the floor for the Cougars, you have Hunyet, Crete, Abenizio, Valerio, and Aaron. Her second shot is no good. Cougars with a 12 point lead now. Three and a half minutes remaining here. Three and a half minutes remaining in the third quarter. Cougars with a 12 point lead, 29-17. So here comes some pressure. Harford starting to show some full court pressure at this point. Lexi Abenizio with the ball. Annabelle Creek goes to the basket. Nice defense by Molly Carpenter. Ball's tied up and it's a jump ball and possession hour will belong to the Fords. Ania, Ania, Ania Eberhardt will inbound the ball. Uh, officials are con conversing here. Eberhardt gets the ball and Cougar showing full court pressure. Under three minutes to play here in the third quarter. Oh, come on, put it. 
loose ball there, grabbed up by Eberhardt. Oh, I'm sorry, Scott. Yeah, Eberhardt, that's correct. Eberhardt puts the shot up, it's no good. <laughs> Foul called on number 35 for the Cougars. Taylor Hunyet. She was battling for the rebound. Coach McNichols talking about it with her. Yeah, that was a tough call. Inbounding a ball is Eberhardt. Yeah. Foul called on the Cougars again, Annabelle Crete. That's the fifth team foul. So the first quarter, the first half, there was no foul issues. Now Springfield has five and Hereford has four. Two and a half minutes remaining in the third quarter. Great job of defense by Mia Valerio. Gets a five second call. The player with the ball did not make any attempt to advance to the basket. So the official called the five second rule. Coming in for the Fords is Emma Rowland. So not a great quarter for us offensively. We didn't come out along, but I think Haverford came out with a much more energy on the defensive side. And obviously Rachel Conran's a big question mark here, whether she's gonna feel confident enough to come back into the game. Um, Cause otherwise Lexi Abenizio is gonna have to take this game or Annabelle Kreit seems a little tentative here in the second half, not really getting to the basket. So we'll see where we get. So the situation, Springfield leads by 12, but it's a, not a comfortable 12, honestly. Uh, two minutes and 31 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Springfield has five team fouls, Haverford four. Springfield has three timeouts remaining, and Haverford has two. On the floor for the Cougars, when we start actions, Annabelle Crete, Lexi Aaron. Pretty amazing, Lexi like you're saying, four sophomores and the seniors. Taylor Hunyet. Pass comes in to Lexi Abenizio. Lexi gets it across the timeline. Cougars moving the ball around the perimeter. How about the hand check? Ball comes in to, to uh, Taylor Hunyet. Taylor is a sophomore playing some really good minutes for the Cougars. <laughs> Lexi Abenizio with the ball. Taylor Hunyet gets the loose ball, pulls it back out. She takes the long shot. It's no good. It's short. Rebound pulled down by Caroline Dotsie. Minute and 40 seconds remaining. Put her down. She actually pulled her down. Uh, the ball was tied up between um, Taylor Hignet and Molly Carpenter. Uh, there, there's a jump ball called. Into the game for the Cougars is number 15, Rachel Conran. We'll see how she's able to play. Mia Valerio inbounds the ball. A minute and a half remaining here in the third quarter. Mia Valerio with the ball. And a walking violation called on Taylor Hunyet. Coming in for the Fords is number 33, Molly Carpenter, and number three, Addison Brodnick. Two of the starters. Minute 17 remaining in the third quarter. Ball stolen by the Cougars, number 41. That's Mia Valerio. That's a big basket. That's a nice one to get. It really was. We've been struggling. So to see Mia come up with that steal and finish, it's awesome. Foul called on Taylor Hunyet. Coming in is Michaela Cox. That's the sixth team foul called on the Cougars. So the next one will put the Fords in the bonus. Stolen by 
Me, Valerio. 50 seconds remaining here. Hereford's coming out. They're gonna make the Cougars move the ball. There's a reach foul called on McElvray for the Fords. That's their fifth team foul. Yeah, I don't think Hereford coach wants to see them run off 40 seconds and get that last shot again of just break your back at the end of the quarter. Lexi Aaron will inbound the ball. Ball comes into Michaela Cox. Nice inbound pass from Lexi Aaron. Mia Valerio with the ball. Finds Michaela Cox. And the Belcrete moves to the open spot. Back to Michaela Cox. 25 seconds remaining. Annabelle Crete with the ball. Michaela Cox, 20 seconds remaining. We got a reach in foul called on number three, Addison Brodnick. That's 16 fouls on the Fords. So both teams, the next foul will put them in the bonus. Coming in for the Cougars is number five, Lexi Ebenezia replacing Mia Valerio. Lexi Aaron inbounds. Finds Annabelle Creed. Way to move Annabelle. That was a nice movement to the ball. 14 seconds, ladies and gentlemen. Lexi Avenizio with the ball. Eight seconds. You're out, guy. Lexi puts the shot mm. up. It's no good. Annabelle Creed on the rebound. No good. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. With eight minutes of action remaining. Springfield with a 14-point lead, 31-17. So we increased it by one, which is good. But get ready, buckle up, everybody. This is going to be a barn burner, and Hafford's going to come out, I'm sure. Jump guns guns blazing, yep. yep. Now the problem is both teams are at six and six on foul, so every next foul, you're going to shoot foul shots, so which Hafford's not going to like, yeah. Yeah, but this game will likely be determined at the foul yeah. line. And the disadvantage for the Cougars is the clock doesn't run when they're at the foul line. Well, the hard part, too, for Hereford is with shooting fouls, it doesn't help them. They want to score threes to our twos. But if we're going to keep shooting foul shots when they're trying to get the ball back, they cannot allow us to run 30 or 40 seconds off the clock in our offensive set. So they're going to have to turn up the pressure here for sure. So again, ladies and gentlemen, we have eight minutes remaining. Springfield with a 14-point lead, 31 to 17. So far, a great defensive effort by the Cougars to hold the Fords to 17 points. Again, as Don said, both teams with six fouls, so next foul, each team will be in the bonus. Haverford has two timeouts remaining and Springfield has three. On the floor for the Cougars is Conran, Abenizio, Kreit, Cox, and Valerio, Lexi Aaron getting a breather on the bench. Springfield continues in a man-to-man -man defense. They work the ball inside. Good defense by the Cougars. Annabelle Creek playing some tough defense. Annabelle Creek is playing a great job, just not letting anything inside the Dotsy. Shot goes up by McElvray. Foul called on number 41. That's Mia Valerio. That's her first personal, team's seventh. McElvray's foul shot is up and good. Think about as much defense as Mia Valerio plays, that's only her first foul. And she's played a good chunk of the game here. McElvray will have a second shot. Shot is up and off the back of the rim, no good. Rachel Conrad pulls down the rebound. <laughs> so Cougars with a 13-point lead, 31 to 18. Lexi Abenizio with the ball. Rachel Conrad pops out to take the pass. Mia Valerio with the ball. Rachel Conrad takes the pass. Ania Aberhart, the freshman, playing good defense against Conran. Annabelle Creek goes to the mm. 
Lane for a layup and misses the layup. Haverford comes down. Hmm. Nice move to the basket by number five for the Fords, Sky Newman. Blocking foul called by the official on number 13, Michaela Cox. That cuts the Cougars' lead to 11, and Newman will have a chance to reduce it to 10. Six minutes, 42 seconds remaining. Her first shot is up, and good. Three-point play, score. Springfield 31, Haverford 21. Haverford showing full court pressure. Rachel Conran finds Annabelle Creed. Back to Rachel Conran. Rachel gets the ball across the timeline. Pulls the ball out. Yeah, you don't want to give your dribble up down that corner. Rachel knows better to do that, so I'm sure Coach is going to talk to him about Halford's got to turn it up here. They, they got a 10-point deficit with 6.23 to go. They can't allow us to run 40, 50 seconds off. Team fouls. Springfield has committed eight. Haverford has committed six. So Haverford is in the one and one. Next foul, Springfield will be in the one and one. <clears throat> Haverford is definitely playing a more aggressive defense and offense here in the second half than they did in the first half. Yeah, Sky Newman, a sophomore, another sophomore playing out there. Has a nice uh, game going. She's got five points. Yep. <clears throat> And Eberhardt, the other, the freshman, number four, has played some really good defense. She's, she's really working hard. <laughs> this so, is where our senior leadership needs to step up. Lexi Abenazio has got to get her hands on the ball. Either get to the basket, she gets to the foul line, usually she's automatic, or get open for a you know, short jump shot, 10, 12 footer, see if she can find something here. Each team with two timeouts remaining. Official called five-second violation on Lexi Aaron. Coming in for the Fords is number 33, Molly Carpenter, and number three, Addison Brodnick. So a turnover there by the Cougars. Five-second violation. Foul called on number 41, that's Mia Valerio. Molly Carpenter will shoot two. I'm sorry, she'll shoot one and one. Her first shot is up and good. Coming in for the Fords is number 30, Emma Rowland. Molly Carpenter will get to shoot a second shot. It's up and good. So coming in for the forwards is Sky Newman. Springfield leads by eight, 31-23. Get the ball in, get the ball in. Rachel Conran gets the ball. It's tipped away and out of bounds by Ania Eberhardt. Inbounding the ball is Alexi Aaron for the Cougars. Alexi <laughs> Avenizio with the ball. Just over six minutes remaining here. Cougars with an eight point. No, don't give a dribble up. That pass is stolen. And goes out of bounds. Well, the officials didn't get court, down court to see that, so they're calling it out of bounds off of Springfield. Inbounding the ball is Caroline Dotsy. Long three put up. Rebound pulled down by Annabelle Crete. 
<laughs> Rachel Conran with the ball. Five minutes and 40 seconds remaining. Rachel Conran with the ball. Finds Mia Valerio. Mia goes in for the layup. The shot is in and good. Great move to the basket. Right when we needed it, we needed a bucket there. Mia strong to the basket. Fouls called on Sky Newman. That extends the Cougars' lead back to 10. Again, returning into the game is Addison Brodneck and Molly Carpenter for the Fords. Mia Valerio's chance for a three-point play. Shot is up and good. Cougar lead at 11, 34-23, five and a half minutes exactly remaining in the fourth quarter and in this game, unless it goes overtime. Nice move to the basket by number 33, Molly Carpenter. Cuts the Cougars lead to nine. 34-25. Oh. That long inbounds pass is no good. Cougars turn the ball over. Fords will inbound in backcourt. Six or five minutes, four minutes, 59 seconds remaining. Because no one touched that ball, it should be inbounded under the Fords basket. And that's what the officials are doing. Just play defense here, make them take time off the clock. Clock's the enemy. Her shot is no good, Dotsie's shot is no good. Her follow is good. That cuts the Cougars lead to seven, 34-27. Four and a half minutes remaining. Rachel Conran with the ball. Mia Valerio with the ball. Lex Sierran with the ball. Rachel Conran with the ball. We've got a blocking foul called on number four. That's Ania Eberhardt, the impressive freshman playing for the Fords. That's the eighth, that's the eighth team foul. Number five for the Ford, Sky Newman coming on to replace Molly Carpenter. Rachel Conran will be at the line, shooting one and one. First shot is good. It gets the Cougars lead back up to eight, 35-27. <laughs> Second shot is up and good. Cougar lead at nine. Four minutes and 15 seconds remaining. Time, time, take time. Cougar showing half court defense, picking up the players at half court. That's a nice steal there by Alexei Avenizio. Finds Rachel Conran. Under four minutes remaining, ladies and gentlemen. Rachel Conran with the ball. Finds Mia Valerio. Good defense being played by Sky Newman. Rachel Conran with the ball. Rachel goes to the basket, pulls it back out. Cougars moving the ball around. Lexi Aaron with the ball, finds Mia Valerio. Mia fakes the drive, goes, gives the pass to Lexi Avenizio. She goes with the 12-foot runner. It's good, and she's fouled. That's Great. what we needed. We needed our Move senior to there. step up there, and she did. By Lexi Abenizio. What a shot. All-time leading scorer for Springfield. Lexi will go to the line to complete a three-point play. The foul shot is up and short. Oh, it falls in. That extends the Cougar lead back to double figures. Make it 12, 39-27. Coming in for the Fords is Molly Carpenter. Both teams are going offense-defense here. They're putting their scorers in on offense and their defenders in on defense. 
three minutes and 20 seconds remaining in this contest. Big three-point play there for Lexi Abenizio. Mia Valerio almost gets the steal. Great defense by Mia Valerio. She did not give ground. The Haverford players stepped on the end line, so the Cougars will inbound the ball. Haverford showing full court pressure. Haverford coach calls timeout. So she's going to have to do yeah. something really special here now. I she, mean, I, she's going to say, look, we got to double team everywhere we can. If we foul, we got to hope they miss some foul shots. Three minutes and six seconds left, ladies and gentlemen. Cougars with the 12-point lead, 39-27. Both teams with nine fouls, so the next foul will put the, the uh, teams in the double bonus. So this game will likely be determined at the foul line as we come down in the last uh, three minutes and six seconds. And obviously, the team that can make their foul shots should be able to ice this game. And obviously, for us being up 12, it's a big, huge lift for us. You know what I mean? They're going to have to foul. We're going to run time off the clock. We're really playing against the clock at this point is what we're doing. <laughs> so when play resumes, it'll be Cougars ball on the court for the Cougars. Now is Abenizio, Aaron, Valerio, Kreit, and Conran. Haverford is not showing full court pressure. They're picking up at about half court. Now let's call it three quarter court. Lexi Aaron with the ball. Finds me of Valerio. Cougars have three sophomores and two seniors on the floor. Cougars moving the ball to chew up time. Aaron drove to the basket and then kicked it back out to chew up time. Rachel Comrade oh, with the shot. It's no good. Annabelle Crete with a big rebound. Gets it over to Lexi Aaron. No. Go. Lexi Aaron kicks it out, but intercepted beautifully by number five, Sky Newman. We got a travel violation called on the Fords. Number the great five. thing about the Cougars, what you see, they turn the ball, which is fine. You could be depressed. They all sprint back. Everybody's back playing defense. All five of them were back there playing defense. The Cougars are getting close to another five-second violation. There. I don't know why we're struggling to get this ball. We've got to set a couple screens then or a stack play, you know, something to get the ball in. Get the ball in Lexi's hand or Rachel's hands. So Coach McNichol called one of her two remaining timeouts. So both teams down to one timeout remaining. Two minutes, 36 seconds remaining. Cougars with a 12-point lead. But honestly, it doesn't feel that significant or that large. Uh, Haverford, obviously, Haverford can score a bunch quickly. They are a very good team here. Uh, it, we hope they can get into the 6A bracket. <laughs> this year, the district tournaments will have fewer uh, Yeah, do you know teams. how many are in the 6A? How many are going to go in? I thought I read 10, and right now Haverford is sitting at number 14. Ours is 8, right? The 5A is 8? I believe so. No, we get a bye. We have maybe 10. We get a bye in the first I, round. I thought both 5A and 6A were 10. 10, okay. Because of the number of teams in District 1 that are in that category. Okay. I know we get a bye in the first round if we're fortunate enough to get through there. So Cougars will inbound the ball, side court, in their back court. Ebenezer will be inbounding. On the floor, again, is Kreit, um, Aaron, Conran, Valerio, and Ebenezer. Ball comes into Annabelle Crete. Lexi Avenizio with the ball. She loses the handle, loses the dribble. They got to get across the timeline. Goes to Mia Valeri, or Lexi Avenizio. She's across the timeline. Rachel Conman took an extra step there, and the official saw it. So that's a turnover for the Cougars. Coming in for the Fords is Addison Brodnick. Lexi Avenizio takes a seat. Two minutes and 20 seconds remaining. Cougars lead by 12. So let's watch here. Haverford got this ball with 221 to go. And I have 220, yeah, right, and they're down to 205 already. See how much time they have got to take out. That pass went in very beautifully to Caroline Dotsie. She missed the shot. Foul was called on Annabelle Creed. That's her third. That's the 10th team foul. 
So Hereford will be shooting two in a double bonus now. This is a uh, shot, in a foul in the act of shooting. So she gets her second shot now. And it's up and good. So Cougars with an, a, nine, or a ten point lead. Two minutes exactly remaining. Don't give your dribble up. Rachel Conran with the ball. Finds Mia Valerio. Finds Annabelle Crete. Finds Lexi Aaron. Lexi Aaron will go to the line to shoot two in a double bonus. Fouls called on number 13. That's Chara McElvray. That's her fourth. Lexi Aaron. Shot is good. Coming in for the Cougars is number 13, Michaela Cox, giving Lexi Evanesio a breather. Lexi Aaron at the line for the second of two. Mm. Shot is short. Rebound pulled down by the Fords. A minute and a half remaining. Long three put up by McElvray is good. Cuts the Cougars lead to eight. Ball comes across the timeline to Lexi Aaron. Rachel Conran with the ball. Moves to the basket. Finds me Valerio. And just over a minute, ladies and gentlemen. Finds <laughs> Mia Valerio. Foul called. Foul's called on Addison Brodnick. That's her third. Mia Valerio will go to the line to shoot two. First shot is no good. Coming in for the Cougars, Alexa Abenizio. Shot is no good. Great rebound by Annabelle Creek. And she our control, give up on our that. possession too. Big play, 55 lead, seconds to 55 go. 55 seconds, Cougars lead by eight, 40 to 32. Lexi Aaron will inbound the ball. Finds Mia Valerio. Ball comes out to Lexi Ebenezio. Rachel Conran, 49 seconds. Foul called on <clears throat> Caroline Dotsi. Going to the line for the Cougars is Number 15, senior Rachel Conran. She'll shoot two. First shot is no good. Second shot is up and no good. Fords with life here. Cougars are not making their foul shots. He's got to play D, make him take 20 seconds off the clock. It's a wall. Fords with a costly turnover there. Foul called on McElfray. That's her fifth. I believe she's done for the night. Yes. McElfray is uh, now disqualified. That sounds like a harsh term, disqualified, but she's out of the game with her fifth personal foul. Yeah, look, I mean, we, we've missed five foul shots, two, four, six foul, seven foul shots, two, four, five, six, seven. No, no, she's going to shoot you. Five foul shots in the fourth quarter. Wow. You got to win championships making foul shots and getting out of free throw yeah, line. We'd say that this game would be determined at the foul line. Fortunately, Harvard had a costly turnover there. They converted that possession with a three or even a two, it's a close game. And some of our best foul shooters have been standing at that line. We got to make them. Yep. Lexa Avenizio will now go to the line to shoot two. 30.8 seconds remaining. Cougars lead by eight. Avenizio's first shot is up and good. Cougars lead by nine. <clears throat> Avenizio's second shot. Up and no good, too hard. Ball saved nicely by the Fords. 25 seconds, Cougars lead by nine. 
Layup is no good. Ball tipped out of bounds by number 33, Molly Carpenter. Cougars inbound under the Ford basket. Full court pressure by the Fords. 17 seconds remaining. Cougars lead by nine. Cougars are not successful in getting the ball in. So, yeah, only after a made basket can you move on the side. And me realized that, that was out of bounds on Springfield, on Haverford. Molly Carpenter goes up for the shot. She's fouled by Annabelle Crete. That's four on Annabelle. Molly Carpenter will go to the line. We have 15 seconds, the Cougar, 15 seconds remaining. Cougars lead by nine. Carpenter's first shot is short. Carpenter's second shot. Good. Let's get the ball in. Rachel Conrad takes the inbound pass. She's fouled immediately by Number 15, Caroline Dotsey. That's Caroline's third. Rachel Conway will go to the line to shoot two. Cougars lead by eight, 41-33. Ra Rachel's first shot is good. <laughs> Extends her lead to nine, 42-33. Rachel's second shot is good. Cougars lead by 10. 15 seconds remaining. Cougars coach yelling, do not foul. Just let her go. Shot goes up and in the basket. That shot was made by number five, Sky Newman. Great game by the Lady Cougars. 43-35, ladies and gentlemen, is your final score. 43-35. Really ended up winning by 13. We just got word on the other semifinal game. So it's Springfield really again, a rematch of last year in the Central League Championship. So Ridley was playing Harriton down at Ridley's gym in the other semifinal in this uh, Central League Tournament. With Ridley's victory, that means Ridley will come back to Springfield for the third time this season, and Springfield will play Ridley for the Central League Championship. This is a instant replay, not so instant, but a replay of last year, where again, Springfield ran the table in the Central League, but Ridley came in and knocked them off in the tournament. Let's hope Thursday night goes better for the Cougars. Now, last year really had a, a Division I player named Dakota McCann who really just lit it up on us in that game. So we're glad she's off playing in college down there in South Carolina, playing Division I. Really's a different team, but they still have some very good players. They're more than capable of winning the Central League. And prior to us beating them the other night, they only had one loss. Now they only have two losses, both to the Cougars here. So in essence, if they hadn't met us this year, they'd be undefeated also. So it's going to be a great matchup Thursday night. And what so, are, The matchup is Thursday night, Springfield versus Ridley here. We'll be on the air at 7 o'clock, ladies and gentlemen. We hope you can tune in. Again, my name is Stan Johnson. Don Mooney is our color commentator. Excellent game here. We congratulate the Lady Cougars for a real nice win. Yeah, what a credit to the seniors. That Four straight Central League championships for Rachel and Alexa and Kayla Cox. They're going to be in the Central League Championship four straight years, which is a tremendous accomplishment. And the other two seniors that don't play very much, but they practice hard, Emma Friel and Jamie Galloway. Right. We'd be remiss if we didn't mention all their hard work. So it'll come down to Thursday night. And then after Thursday, both Ridley and Springfield are likely to go into the district tournament. Right now, Springfield is the number one seed. The seeding meeting is tomorrow night, so I can't see any way Springfield would not get the number one seed in the District 1 5A tournament. They will probably get a bye in the first game, and they will get to play uh, probably a couple of home games in the district tournament. Uh, and then, I don't know, go neutral court later in the tournament or how it's going to play out this year. But 
Yeah, as, COVID, it's it's unknown. Unbelievable. As of right now, what the PIA is saying is it's always the higher seed playing at their home floor. Springfield could take this all the way through the district championship at the Cougar, the brand new Cougar gym. What a treat that would be on the first year for the new high school, have a district champion. Boy, it certainly will be. We thank you very much for tuning in. Don has the scoring statistics for those of you that like to keep track of who the scores were. A great night here by the Cougars. Yeah, and our senior leaders came through. Alex Abinaggio ended with 10 points. Uh, Rachel Conran led us in scoring with 13. Lexi Aaron had four. Mia Valerio comes off the bench. Great defense, ends up with nine points. Great game. And then uh, Annabelle Kreit had all seven in the first half. Just great. And then for Haverford, Addison Brodnick had four. Sky Newman came off the bench, had a nice game, had seven. And then McGilvery ended up with seven. And then Dotsie, their leading scorer, we held the six points. Unbelievable job by Rachel. And, and Hunyet. Hunyet came in and played on her also. So just a great job stopping Haverford's big-time player. And then finally Carpenter, the other sophomore we're going to be looking at the next two years, she ended up with nine points for Haverford. So good balance scoring by Haverford and mm. Springfield. Uh, excellent game. Uh, we thank you for tuning in. We hope you'll join us on Thursday night. We are able to keep track of how many folks actually tuned in uh, on the Internet, and we had over 180 people on the, watching this. So we really appreciate you watching. We hope you can join us Thursday night, and we will sign off as we traditionally do. Let's go Cougars.